Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to uh, jump into some Python, but first we're going to just kind of go over how we were running Python before in Visual Studio, uh, how we can do it a little bit more nicely, and also go over uh, what comments are and how we can use comments. Uh, this will be a hopefully a very quick video, and then the next video we will get into variables. So let's jump into it. Boop. Right, so uh, we see here we have our print hello world file from last time. Uh, so now what we actually wanna do is, uh, I think last time I was saying you could press shift enter, um, or if you go to run, uh, is it in run? I think I thought it was in run, or if you right clicked, there was like a, this run selection or line in an interactive window. We don't actually wanna do that. So we wanna actually go over here on the side and click this one with the arrow and the little bug and you can click run and debug. So when we do this, it will run our file. We can see the output of our file here. So it's printing hello world. And then we get this other debug console over here and then some problems and output. So we're actually gonna be writing a, a little bit of code pretty soon. So I think what actually might be better is if we can click and drag the word terminal here and bring it up over to the right. So then it shows like this. And then when we let go, it will bring the terminal over here. And then we can go over to this X and get rid of this. So now we kind of have two columns, one where we can have our code and one where we can have our output. And then we can also click this run and debug section over on the side here, and it will just make it minimize so it goes away. You can always click it again to make it come back. So once we're at this stage, in order to run the file, so if we wanna run this file, this is already um, pointing, or we're already uh, in the directory of, of where this file is. Um, so if you, uh, let me see here, if we open up a new file here, and we go to uh, dev, Python, uh, oh, sorry, Python, um, you can see this is the same This is the same thing here. So C, users, Captain Light, uh, documents, dev, and Python. C, users, Captain Light, uh, documents, dev, Python. So we're in the same spot there. So if we type py, and then are the name of our file, which is hello, you can do hello.py, and press enter, it will basically run our file, the same thing it was just doing up here. And then the next time we run or run the file, we can simply press up, up on the keyboard and it will actually uh, show you the last command that was run. So you can keep pressing up and see all the commands that have been run. Um, but if you just press up once, then that's just the last one you ran. And then you can press enter again and you can do that as many times as you want. All right, sounds good. So the next part here um, is is we're gonna go over kind of just like how a file can be read. Uh, a, a coding file is actually very similar to just like a, a doc or anything like that. And you can think of it as just something that you're gonna read from the top to the bottom. Uh, for the most part, anytime you read code, you're always going from the top to the bottom. Um, once we get into f writing our own functions and stuff like that, then it jumps around a little bit, but uh, I'll show you how we can make that a little bit more easy to understand once we get there. So for the most part, for right now, let's just think of it going from going top to bottom. So what this means is that if we write print um, hi there and we save, again, you can save by pressing control S or go, clicking file and go to save. We need to save and that little dot will be gone. So if I make a change, there's a dot here. Um, and if I save, then the dot goes away. And we need to make sure the file is saved. Otherwise, when we run our, our code here, then it won't actually like show any of the change. I can show an example of that. So if we delete that and then we undo it, we can see it's not saved. But if I run this, we only get hello world. If I save and then I run, we get hello world, hi there. And you can notice that these are outputted in the same order that they're output on in this file here. So if we add another line, uh, let me just copy and paste this and add some more exclamation points and we run this, then it comes out in, in the order that we have a 
kind of defined within this file here. Now, say we really want uh, the hello world, but we don't want these other two lines, but maybe we don't want to delete them. So one thing we can do is actually use a comment. So a comment can be started, uh, a single line comment can be started in Python, putting a uh, hashtag or a pound sign, depending on how old you are. <laughs> um, they started as being called a pound, but now it's a hashtag. Um, and you can see it turned green. So basically what this means is that when we run our code, this line will get ignored because this is, comments are typically used to, to um, give some description to code so that if somebody's reading your code, then they kind of un may be able to understand it, especially if it's something that's complicated, or you can kind of like um, make sections for your code. So it's, it's just, you know, easier to read and understand where things should go. Um, but in this case, another way you can, another thing you can do with a comment is just comment at a line of code and it will turn it into a comment so that it's not going to be processed when you run it. So if we run over here on the side, we press up and enter, we can see we get hello world and hello or hi there with the five exclamation marks, but we don't actually print this. Even though this is between these two, we don't print it because it's a comment. If we remove the comment and we run it again, I saved again, we, we get it back there. So you could have a comment saying like, uh, uh, we print things here. Um, as, as an example, a weird example. Um, so say, say you want to comment that's multiple lines or you want to comment a bunch of things out at once. So rather than like going here, and commenting, commenting and commenting, what you can actually do is comment uh, a block. Uh, it's called like a block comment. Um, and in order to do that in Python, you uh, use three quotes. So if you do three quotes, you can see that it actually creates the, ex the next three quotes for us. But if we just cut and paste this to the bottom, um, this has now turned this entire thing into a comment. So the start of the three quotes, or these, these three quotes at the start, is basically the start of the comment. And then the next time it reaches three quotes, it is the end of the comment. So say we add like another three quotes here, now we can see there's a line because it's saying that there's no end of this comment. So it's an unterminated comment. So you'd get an error if you tried to run this. But if we just got rid of this, then basically all of this is now a comment, but this is not. So if we run, we're only going to get the high there. We're not getting any of these. So comments can be super useful again to, to kind of outline what your code is doing um, and make it more readable for just basically anybody else who's uh, who may be reading your code. All right, so that is it for this video. Uh, hopefully this made sense to you. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, as always, just please uh, leave a comment down below and I'll definitely get back to you uh, and help make things make more sense. Um, while you're uh, down there, please feel free to uh, drop a like. It really helps out the channel and uh, it's free. And uh, you know, feel free to subscribe if you want to be notified for the next videos that will come out in the series. Uh, also free. So, you know, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next video where we will be talking about variables, uh, specifically strings and numbers. Um, and yeah, thanks for coming. And remember, never stop learning.